Hello guys, that's here back again with another video. So today we're taking a look at on the Edge Lead S8 Plus port version 4.0 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So this ROM is uh, again based on Android 7.0 and uh, has the latest Android security patch from 1st of March 2017. So uh, this ROM is uh, probably the most stable ROM that uh, I have ever used. I know that you are uh, hearing uh, this once more, but uh, as the ROM gets updated it gets uh, even more and more stable. So uh, it continues to surprise me a lot. As you can see over here I have uh, disabled Bixby because uh, at least for me it's more of a gimmicky feature and uh, I'm not uh, actually using it. As you can see over here you, I have uh, disabled it. So uh, uh, again I, I don't think uh, this is not even from my gallery, oh no it is. Okay so as you can see it just froze and uh, it kicked me away. So uh, I, I don't think that uh, it, uh, it has uh, something uh, that it's going to offer me because uh, it is just like Google Now which is uh, probably a swipe available so uh, soon there will be a speed test between this device with this ROM and the iPhone 7 Plus with the latest iOS version so if you want to see that too be sure to click that subscribe button and uh, click on the bell icon so that you receive a notification whenever a new video is available so uh, as I told you this ROM is uh, based on Android 7.0, it has a uh, wonderful battery life so I don't have any problem getting uh, throughout the day. As I'll show you over here, uh, for 10 hours and 37 minutes the phone was at 35% uh, as you can see over here I have charged it a little bit too wirelessly. So I got 3 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time and uh, probably I, I would have uh, around 30% of battery life left. So uh, it has been uh, a day in which I used the phone on LTE, so uh, if you're on Wi-Fi you will get even uh, better results. As you can see this is the S8 ported uh, version of Samsung's uh, user interface. So it has uh, this new launcher and uh, Bixby as I showed you. Over here you have a search phone function which is uh, like the iPhone one and uh, if you want to make your phone even uh, look more like an iPhone you can uh, make it only to a home screen so that uh, when you swipe uh, down you will get the search phone function. So uh, this is uh, something literally copied from uh, the Apple devices. But you know I have nothing against copying so as, as long as you copy the good things from uh, someone or something. Uh, so uh, it has all the ported apps. Every app except the camera and the settings are ported from uh, S8. So this includes the calculator, the calendar, the clock uh, and email, every, every application, every single one is uh, being ported, has been ported. So uh, this ROM is uh, very very fluid, I don't find any lag, some people on XDA say, say that uh, their ROM is uh, wag, waggish, but probably they uh, hadn't clean installed it, so whenever you uh, install a ROM be sure to click inst to clean install it, and if you, want, uh, if you don't want to lose uh, your data, just go to Samsung Cloud and make a backup, you have 15GB over here, I don't think that you will uh, I have 2 gigabytes of music and uh, all those apps that you just saw and uh, documents and everything, phone clock, everything is being backed up and uh, whenever I reinstall the phone I just uh, click the restore button and everything is over here, even the home screen layout, everything is just as it was before. So this is a great uh, function for, from Samsung which they provide to us. So uh, as you can see over here you also have the finder which is uh, back over here you have the user profile thing these are uh, things that are different in the notification center from the stock one so uh, only the user this is uh, here even in the stock so uh, this user thing is uh, different it's uh, new so uh, this is uh, this is for this video guys uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for this ROM for the thread 
so be sure to check it out it's uh, worth installing it worth checking out because uh, it is a really really nice ROM so uh, the difference between this ROM and the stock one but with installed uh, Samsung launcher and theme is uh, all those uh, applications that are being ported from uh, as you can see what what speed it's just opening every every single application as you can see over here it has it uh, in the background as you can see I just saw it over here again so it's uh, boorish so that you don't see what I have over here so uh, everything every every single application except the studio so YouTube studio is probably the slowest application that I have ever used on a device as you can see music everything everything just working uh, really 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 well so uh, now I'll go here to the Samsung team and it's, it's just loaded. This is also for games probably. I, I play Clash Royale and uh, I receive a phone call. Then I have to send a message. And then when I go back to Clash Royale, probably 30, 40 seconds after that, I am still in the game. The game is still running and I'm still in the, the online game. And sometimes I even win, which is uh, very, very bad for my opponents. So uh, this is this is it guys, uh, this is for this video, so uh, be sure to click that subscribe button, uh, also uh, like this video, it helps me a lot, keeps me motivated, if you have any question, be sure to leave them down into the comment uh, section. So uh, thank you for watching guys again, uh, as I told you, soon are going to come more videos, including uh, iPhones, comparisons between the two operating systems, and also speed tests between these uh, those custom ROMs and uh, iOS so uh, be sure to click that subscribe button as I told you as I tell you again uh, interesting videos are going to come also outdoor filming is going to become something uh, into the channel so uh, I'm just uh, going to make the channel bigger and I'm going to learn how to make it so uh, thank you for watching guys again peace